Oh, this is some spice for you guys. We're going out to the great state of Missouri because Missouri marijuana retailers are challenging local taxes. In a growing legal fight that many predicted, two marijuana companies in Missouri are suing to overturn local taxes they argue are unconstitutional. Adult use sales began in February in Missouri, where cannabis buyers pay a 6% state tax, one of the lowest rates in the United States. Additional municipal taxes of up to 3% are allowed if voters approve such a levy via a ballot initiative, but several counties in the state are illegally stacking a 3% county tax on top of the 3% municipal tariff, the Missouri Cannabis Trade Association told the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. According to two recent lawsuits challenging the county taxes, the extra 3% tax is expressly forbidden under the adult use legalization measure approved by the voters in November of 2022. And Vertical Enterprise, headquartered in St. Joseph in Buchanan County and Robust Dispensary based in Florissant in St. Louis County, argue in separate lawsuits that the 3% county tax can be applied only in unincorporated areas where a 3% municipal tax does not apply and that marijuana buyers can't be charged both. Greenway Magazine and the Post-Dispatch reported uh, that on December 8th, uh, the trial date has been set for Vertical Enterprises' lawsuit, which was filed first, and robust is awaiting word on its action. According to the Post-Dispatch, county officials and marijuana industry leaders said in April they anticipated a legal fight over retail cannabis taxes in Missouri. And cent uh, uh, central to the business's arguments in the legalization's law definition of a local government, which provides separate explanations for incorporated and unincorporated areas. I think that's an important note for people to understand. And meanwhile, cash strap local governments say they're counting on marijuana tax revenue to pay for police and parks. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Cry me a river, you guys. But nonetheless, what do you guys think about this? Do you think these taxes are justified or this is just big Uncle Sam government trying to overtax and overregulate your cannabis. It's illegal. 3% of it is illegal. It sounds like it, right? of it, 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 it's it sounds illegal. like this is an open and, open and shut case. This it doesn't sound like unless you're in an unincorporated uh, uh, portion of, of Missouri, you're not, you're not going to be subject to that 3% tax. But then again, too, if you're not, if you are an unincorporated, um, I mean, it just seems like it's a pretty level playing field, and it seems like the people that are purchasing in these cities are getting double taxed as opposed to just people out in the rural areas. It's illegal. <laughs> it's like, I just, I'm, it's like, it, it's, it's crazy. Like, it, and, and, and let one of this, let one of these individuals do something illegal. Mm -hmm. And, it, the, the, you know, the, the, the way that they're treated is going to be completely different. Here it is, we're reading. Like we're reading, they're saying three percent of this tax is is theft. Mm -hmm. They're saying that people are being robbed, and nothing has happened. I haven't. Heard, I, I didn't hear you read it. I just want to. I just want to know. I, I just want to see their rebate checks when the when this lawsuit is settled. I want right. to see how much they they get uh, in, in rebate money, and at the same time, what are they going to do with that rebate money? Are they going to give it? back to the uh, patients and customers that paid that tax, or are they just going to just throw it on their books and uh, have a little pizza party? Yeah, these, these government, these government, uh, uh, re these regulators are greedy, man. Mm -hmm. They're greedy. You've never, they're not Robin Hood. Like, like, e e yeah, e everybody can eat. Every Everybody can eat off of this, but when you're overtaxing folks that are running businesses and trying to do this thing the whole the the, the right way, you're stifling small business owners, mm -hmm. you're stifling innovation, and you're driving people back into doing illegal things. And what about just fueling the illicit market because you're overtaxing? Uh, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're driving people back into doing illegal things. Mm -hmm. like, how how are you going to how are you going to survive off of that? Right. Very, very good question, Rico. How, like, and people you, think oh, it's, it's only three percent. That's a lot of fucking money. It okay, is. it's a lot of money. Three percent. Three percent. What's three percent of a million dollars? Exactly. It's three thousand. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's three thousand bucks. Right three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand bucks. Yes, yeah, three thousand bucks. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Six thousand. It's six thousand bucks to these folks because they're stacking that. Much. Oh yeah, yeah. So they're stacking. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stacking yeah. taxes. Because it's only supposed to be three percent, but yet they're taking six. You know, <laughs> they're like, it, no, 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 no. Yeah, I mean. 
I mean, we have a lot I mean, of this it's, too. It's like operating. That's like operating in L.A. and you, you're paying an L.A. county tax and an L.A. city tax. We have a lot of this kind of thing that goes on in California, and I think a lot of it is illegal, but no right. one has challenged it yet because you have you have our excise tax, and then you have sales tax, and then you have all these. Wait, little, you have an tax, excise tax. tax. Wait, wait, wait. You have a what tax? We have an excise tax, which is basically. Um, uh, the tax and the tax, which, which is which is which is which is a tax that that everyone pays, and then you have sales tax that varies on your percentage based off the county that you're selling cannabis in. Okay, and then right. on top of that, you have a local tax uh, as far as whatever jurisdiction that you are residing your business in, that you will have an additional tax of that on top of. And a lot of these um, municipalities, how they put in the taxes is they tell you you have to bake it into the price and you can't do it as a separate line item tax. So in a lot of these cases, you are paying tax on top of other taxes. So let's just say the cost is, is, is $60, right? Well, in that $60, you're actually are paying a sales tax on the excise tax because that's baked into the price. And then you're also paying a tax on the local city tax because that's baked into that price also. And so that's why I think that all of this stuff is just total, total, total gross over taxation with no representation. And who and who, and who hurts the most? The consumers hurt the most because they're like. Well, I think the overall industry hurts the most to... because the consumers are just yeah. going to go wherever they can find it for the cheapest and best price. And so you can't Keeping fault them like for that. Yeah. You know, you Keeping can't. guys like me in business. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Exactly. Keeping the streets alive. I told you, man, the trap is immortal. The, the, the trap is immortal. The trap is immortal. Of... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There's also, there's also, uh, exactly, uh, you're, you're right, James, over in Flatbush. You're, you are right. They are, they do, in some municipalities, they have a potency tax. And that is just just yeah, half, yeah. It's just so backwards to that's me. What, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna have you're gonna have a reverse lab shopping over in New York now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. The labs there. Exactly. In New York, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we get the banter. Shout out to shout out to shout out to um the bro from Flatbush in the building. You already know Brownsville, East New York. But um, you know what they doing too in East New York? They got like regular stores. They turn it into you know smoke shops or or, or dispensaries. Now I have a smoke shop in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. 211 Utica Avenue. Make sure you go there. It's oh, also a tattoo shop. My brother Manny, I sent you. But um, what's happening is a lot of street Kathy guys. Hoko, Kathy Hoko's goons get coming for you, man. Oh, yeah, man. It's okay. <laughs> We're all legit. We're all legit. But it's uh, it's crazy because I'm looking at how the street guys are seeing these stores take this money, and now the street guys are going and they're just robbing the stores, like in pink houses in Brooklyn. There's one store that has been robbed three times in one month. Like, you just can't make this stuff up. Like, tons of cash, mm -hmm. go inside. <laughs> Take the money, it's fucking oh, crazy. Oh, boy. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You know it, what? It, it, all this is, is it's, it's feeding the trap. That's all it's, it's all you're feeding doing. the trap. That's all it does. Like, either way, shape, yeah. or form, like, if they can't sell weed in the street, they're going to go into the dispensary and take the money out of there. And especially mm -hmm. in places where you are unable to carry firearms and have firearms in your establishment, places like oh, in New on, York. Well, 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 hold on. on. Most places, most places, most places, yeah, most places have armed security um, for the most part. The thing is, is that, um, is that, yeah, is that we're not allowed to and we're not allowed to employ our security guards. In they New have York, to be separate subcontracted different. workers. Yeah, but in, New York. in California they have that. I know that much, but in New York, that's not what's happening. In oh, New York, in New York, you don't have no armed guards. Got you. They're You're not going to get no armed guard security. Like you, you better have the armed guard trappers outside your spot on the corner. You better have the corner hustlers ho holding down your bodega yeah. or your corner store because you ain't got no yeah, security. Look, yeah, look in New York, they don't look. Yeah. yeah. In California, they will respect the guy outside with the gun. In New York, they're gonna look at him and they're gonna laugh at him. Mm -hmm. And then he ain't even gonna do nothing. He gonna he gonna know in his heart. He gonna be standing there. He gonna know in his heart. I'm a I'm yeah. a I'm I'm gonna die. Like you know what I mean? Like the first thing, soon as somebody come up, the first thing he gonna do is put his hands up. Mm -hmm. He only there for show. He there for to get a check. In New York, if they ever allow allow that to happen, the people who are there will never take out their gun to stop anybody from going in there to rob in any of these establishments because they understand that New York is a lot different than it is in California. Yeah, and that's the one thing in I'm gonna New say. York, like, is that in, yeah, in New York, York, like they're not. It's not gonna be the same. I know, I know, the, I know the gun. I know the gun laws are, are crazy in New York City, but um, is it the same? Can you like have like tasers? Can you have like other weapons? Like, you, can, you can have tasers and everything else. It's not that. It's that the criminal, the criminal element there is a lot different than it is in California. Do you understand? Like right. with California, how how the structures are in California. Like when you go to a cookie store, you're going to like a mini mall strip. So there's more stores 
in and around, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. in that strip, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of it's kind of different. And, you got to go into you got to go into a parking lot. You got to leave out of a parking lot. It's not like that in New York. Like you know what I mean? Like you're on a you're on a sidewalk where there's thousands of people walking by. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you can clearly just go into you know the group of people that's there or whatever. It's just a lot more difficult. People can kill you and get away with it much easier than they would in California. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm trying to say. Like we know there's tons of cameras everywhere and everything else, but anyone who's doing armed security outside of one of these New York bodegas or one of these New York establishments for sure will never pull out their firearm to kill someone or stop someone from going inside because they understand that the ramifications is going to be a lot different. You don't know mm-hmm. where it's going to come right. from. It's, yeah, you know what I mean? Like it's just it's too it's like it's like Chicago. Like do you think someone in Chicago is going to be standing outside with a security guard gun and think that he's going to stop somebody from coming in here when these guys got guns that shoot off a hundred rounds in one second? No, they're not going to know. Absolutely, yeah. Pull out their little yeah. pea shooters. I, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was just in Chicago uh, last weekend, man, and um, I'm sad. I'm sad mm-hmm. about my city, man. Well, on that I'm note, we on on that note, we got to go to a commercial. We're gonna be right back. <laughs> 